let me start by telling you a story. Three years ago, I went to a medical mission to Darfur. Darfur is one of the largest areas affected by war in my country. I remember walking slowly inside that small tent. At the corner, I saw her. Beautiful girl, big eyes, dark skin. But unfortunately, she was thin, pale, and constrained with big metallic chains. Her family said she harbors demons and evil inside her. But in fact, she suffered from nothing but epilepsy. Mary was her name, 11-year-old girl living in a salam camp. A salam is an Arabic word that means peace, but sadly, she did not live in peace. She just experienced inequity and injustice. The moment I saw Mary constrained with chains that are properly heavier than her own weight was my moment of obligation. At that specific moment, I knew that I need to make a change for my people. More than two million refugee and internally displaced personnel cannot afford or access preventive and curative health services in the camps of Darfur. That's a big number. Health inequity resulted in so many negative consequences, including FGM being as a must in order to ensure that, that your daughter will get married. Family are not aware of the importance of family planning so that they are just giving birth to an endless number of children that they cannot even feed. Children dying of malnutrition, as in the case of Mary, epilepsy being perceived as demons and evil. The basis of the problem are so many, including the fragile state created by war, the lack of health facilities, but most importantly, the lack of skilled, trained, and empowered health workers and students. You know, this is Muzammil, a medical student who was so passionately about achieving health equity for his people. He's living in Darfur. Muzammil cannot access good quality training, medical education. Because in Sudan, we do have a decentralized education system where most of the health facilities are just crowded in the capital city, which is Khartoum, leaving other states, especially complex settings, drained from such facilities. So he literally needs to cross the country from Darfur till Khartoum. That's about 831 kilometers. That's too long. Along the way, he will pay a lot of money for the travel, accommodation, and the course related fees. When we calculated this, that was about 500 US dollars. That's a big number. Especially when the average amount of salaries for Sudanese people is only 50 US dollars per month. So that's too much. We, as a global leader who are just wishing to change the trajectory of health for a better for their community, can choose to create prosperity through changing challenges into opportunities area. I choose to do this through Courses Cross Border. Courses Cross Border is a medical education social enterprise that aims to tackle the issue of the lack of the trained and empowered health worker in rural and complex settings with a special focus in Darfur. We literally cross geographical and financial borders in order to provide good quality for those medical students and health workers in order to excel in their career and provide good quality health education and services to their community. We aim to create an empowered generation of health workers that can achieve health equity for the best interest of their community. So, through collaboration and networking with accredited training institute in the capital city, we send a team from Khartoum to Darfur in order to conduct the training session. By this innovative idea, we managed to minimize the courses related fees, cancel the accommodation and the travel. So the whole price went from 500 US dollar to only two to three US dollar. So Muzammil went through the same course from the exact same training facility with only two to three US dollars. Till now, we empowered a total of 1,000 health workers on research, health education, and basic, basic life support. 
Our future plan is to reach 10,000 health workers and hopefully to start working in one of the largest refugee camps in South Sudan. Remember Mary? I know I started with a very sad story, but after the work that we did in Courses Cross Border, I would like to finish with a happy one. Families may start perceiving epilepsy as epilepsy, nor demon, nor the evil. She starts taking her medication, and she is well now. One plus one does not equal two. Okay, in math it's equal two, but anyhow. One plus one equals three, four, five, and up to infinity. If we choose to collaborate, network, and create the needed synergy, so I invite you, my dear audience, to be part of this huge movement to change the health for the better community. Thank you. <laughs>